us hear the word by his grace um so what is happening here is that god wants to bless christians who obey him and to thousands of generations not just us and that is why it is important for christians who know god's word who have heard god's word and as uh, we are being told in Deuteronomy, he says that we should love him. And we mention it in the uh, proclamation. What did he say? He says he wants those who say they love him, they obey him, to do it from their soul, their spirit, and their mind. And if in our case, we say we love God, in Deuteronomy 6, he actually says uh, what he wants us to do. And uh, this is repeated over and over again. And then let's hear what the Lord says. Deuteronomy 6 and verse 5 says, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. In the uh, same way, when the Lord Jesus Christ was being asked, What is the greatest commandment? He said, you must love the Lord your God. And he changed it a little bit. You know, here we are being told, uh, love the Lord your God with all thy soul, with all thy might, with all thy heart. And so the Lord Jesus Christ uh, used his to say, with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. In the Old Testament, it's all, all your strength. But in the New Testament, God is saying that use your mind, let your mind connect with your heart and your soul. And in that case, when you say you are following God's commandment, you have made a decision. You have, everything is all, everything, your heart, your mind, your soul, they have all made a choice to serve God, to obey God. And so God's desire is that we, uh, should also do it with all the faculties that he's given to us. And when we do so, we are going to receive blessings. So it is God's desire to bless us, to fulfill all of the blessings. And it's not wonderful that God is saying that when you even return, when you forget or when you disobey at some point, and then you remember, oh, Lord, I, I'm coming back. Please forgive me. That's why God needs forgiveness. Remember, we've mentioned this, uh, you know, a hundred times. Repentance toward God. That is the first. Anytime people say, they were, oh, I, it's, it has to go to God first. Everything we have done is against God. Repentance toward God and faith. People say, oh, uh, tell the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah, sorry. No, we have to tell it to God. God is the Almighty. God is the Father. God is the one. He is the number one. Of course, the Lord Jesus Christ, but people who don't know, we can forgive them if they don't understand it. But the main thing is that in Acts 20, 21, God says that what we have done, we have done it against God. We sin against God. Of course, we, we always say sometimes, uh, uh, we use the word, we have sinned against Christ. Fine. But whom the person we have sinned against is God. So our uh, repentance must always go. And we can repent anytime while there is life. God is willing to give us life, to give us redemption, to give us everything that we need. And so we want to ask God to help us so that as God has given us all of the necessary blessings, he wants us to serve him. And when we do, when we choose life, choosing life means, yes, I know there's a consequence. I know I might be persecuted. I'm, what We've read all of those passages. So there's no need to go back and to read. Because God said when you are persecuted, when you are uh, you know, in sorrow, all these things that's happened, don't worry. 
and disappointment, everything else. Let's just continue. I choose life. And when we choose life, God is ready to bless us. So it is uh, his desire that we should enjoy the blessings. And it all comes through confession and through acceptance that, Lord, uh, give me the blessings. And so uh, I believe um, we have all that we need to go before God and say, Lord, I choose life. And so, just so uh, we are able to capture everything that we have just said, we will do the summary of the um, personalized proclamation. God has called heaven and earth because we are in this world but we have witnesses in the world people say call this person as a witness call, but God is saying heaven and earth are witnesses against us against me and God has set before me life and death or should we say heaven and hell? I'm not pointing to hell because down. No, I'm just pointing one or the other. But it's, it means blessing or cursing. That I should choose life. When I choose life, it means I have chosen to obey God. I have chosen to serve God. I have chosen to surrender everything to God. That both my descendants and me may live eternally that I may love you, my Elohim, which is the Lord God, with all my heart, soul, and spirit, and mind, and so what, everything, that I may obey your voice. Voice meaning the word of God, the scriptures, the holy scriptures. That I may cling to you, my Adonai, or Yahweh, or Jehovah, it means the same. Adonai, Yahweh, or Jehovah means, uh, you know, Adonai. For you are the source of my life. If God is my source of life, my breath, everything is from him, and length of days is from him. It is not somebody, it's not the food we eat that will prolong our life. It is God, God's Holy Spirit through the mercy of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And you, my merciful Father, will prosper and make my descendants and me dwell in the land, dwell in, in the country wherever we are, we are, in which you swore to our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give them. It was a, it was a, it was a covenant. That's why we always use covenant. It means it's an agreement which cannot be broken. God has already made it that if you do this, you get this. If you don't, well, it's up to you. So that is why we are praying that by God's grace, we would choose life and blessings. And when we do, it means God will embrace us and say, oh, welcome into my fold. And I will pour all the blessings upon you. And what did the blessings say? We read in uh, Deuteronomy 28. He says it's going to overtake. And we know what overtake means. Like driving. You know, you're driving and somebody is going slow. What do we do? You just go past the person. Or uh, showers of blessing. God is going to pour all the blessings upon us. And say here, because you have chosen life. Because you have chosen blessings. I'm going to bless you abundantly. So may God help us to realize that. Blessing is upon us if we choose life. We thank God for what he has brought to our attention and pray that we'll continue to choose life and continue to serve him in spirit and truth according to the Holy Spirit's power that he gives us on a daily basis. Amen.